Hey, YouTube fam, it's Patrick. Welcome to another weekly yoga practice. So good to share space with each and every one of you. For today's vinyasa session, we're going to get into some core work. We haven't done a lot of it recently, so we're going to dive into that, see how it plays out today. As usual, all you'll need is yourself and your practice space to enjoy the session. Uh, before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. New classes are coming out every single week, and after you finish this practice, if you enjoy it, hit the like button and let me know how it went for you in the comments. It's always cool to hear, uh, you know, little perspectives, little things that come up for you along the journey. With that being said, go ahead and find a seat, close your eyes, take a moment and allow yourself to be here. A few deep breaths. A few simple movements of the shoulders, spine, hips, waving around, orchestrating yourself, beginning to organize and play with space and time. Take two purposeful breaths to settle you here. Exhale to clear your system. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Beautiful. Now blink your eyes open. Come on to hands and knees. Circle your shoulders over the wrists a few times. Just allow yourself an opportunity to get warmed up a little bit here. Wiggle through your spine. Push through your thumbs. Create a little bit of an energetic shift in the space that you discover. Then when you feel good, go ahead and step on back into your downward facing dog and keep that similar energy going. Such a common warm up we do in these practices, but I think it feels nice for one and for two, it lets you play this balance of structure and freedom, right? Structure, of course, the general series of poses mixed with your common consciousness around how they go together. Freedom, your ability to play those poses in a way that feels good, feels available, interesting to you. Bend your knees deep. Inhale, wave forwards into plank. Exhale, cruise back to dog. Inhale, roll forwards into plank. Exhale, wave back into dog. Inhale, roll forwards into plank. Exhale, wave back into dog. Inhale, roll forwards into plank. Exhale, drop your right forearm to the ground, forearm side plank. Turn and reach your left arm up to the sky, scooping your right hip underneath you. Return to plank pose. Roll back to dog. Inhale, roll forwards into plank. Left forearm drops down. Forearm side plank on the left arm. Stretch and reach your right hand up to the sky. Let your hips stack, really kick down. Return to plank pose. Roll back into dog. Inhale, roll forwards into plank. Right forearm drops to the ground. Inner edge of left foot finds the ground. Outer edge of right foot finds the ground. Left arm reaches up. Push into your left foot. Lift your right foot off the ground. Right knee drives into your chest. All of a sudden, it's a little bit more. Squeeze in here. Feel strength. Feel power. Return to plank pose. Roll back to dock. Inhale forwards into plank. Left forearm drops to the floor. Inner edge of right foot, outer edge of left. Push into right heel. Lift left foot off the ground. Left knee squeezes into chest. Holding. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank pose. Roll back to dog. Push into your right hand here. Lift your left hand up by your left hip. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Bend your left knee. Pull your right knee forward to your right tricep. Go slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Left heel drops down. Right knee scoops across. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Kick your right foot over to the left side of the mat and then sit all the way down to the ground. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold through the middle. Inhale, rise up. 
Low boat pulse. Open into your low boat. Hold here. Open your arms up like a T or a cactus. Try to lift your chest up a little bit higher. You're here for seven, six, five. Feel the shake. Four, three, two, one. Spread your legs as wide apart as you can in this moment. Rise up, high boat. Drop your heels to the floor. Pull yourself forward, fold down. Inhale, rise up. Plant your right hand by your right hip. Push your left heel down. Lift your right foot off the ground. Right knee comes to touch right tricep. Left hand plants. Right leg lifts up to the sky. Stretch through your right foot. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot, keeping your right foot lifted. Pull your right knee into your chest. Look forward. Step your right foot all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise. Double bent leg lunge. Heavy hips, exhale, straighten through your left leg. Inhale, hands to heart center, pull yourself forward. Crouching warrior. Deep bend in your right knee as you get long through the back of your right leg. Exhale, straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee as deeply as you can, really push it forward. Gently land your left foot at the back of the mat. Bring thumbs to base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach your hands away. Open your heart. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Inhale in your plank, exhale lower to push up for five, four, three, two, one. Rise up, lower push up, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up, knees and forearms drop. Inhale, pull through, upward facing dog. Exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right hand lifts up by your right hip. Your left leg chases the ceiling. Bend your right knee, try to sink into it just a bit more. And then left knee hunts left tricep for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Drop your right heel down. Scoop your left knee up to the sky. Right hand reaches towards the ceiling. Kick your left foot over to the right side of the mat. And then sit your hips all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold down. Find some depth in the fold. Really try to pull yourself into space. Inhale, rise out of it. Low boat pulse. Hold your low boat. Open your arms up like a T or a cactus again. Just remember to keep lifting your chest up towards your toes and stretching forwards. Active legs, lifted chest. You're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I'm going to open your legs wide. Rise up, high boat. Feet wide, feet wide, feet wide. <laughs> Feel the wobble of it. Slowly lower your heels to the ground. Lift your chest, fold down. Pull yourself deeper into the stretch. Inhale, lift back out. Left hand plants by your left hip. Right heel pushes down, left leg lifts up directly. Left knee, left tricep. Right hand to the floor. Three-legged dog becomes side plank on your right hand. Keep your left foot lifted, pull. Your left knee into your chest, slowly sweeping forward, left foot plants. Inhale, rise, double bent leg lunge. Feel the wobble of it, stance is probably long. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, hands to heart center, pull yourself forward, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Bend your left knee, right foot returns, starting position. Thumbs to base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach your hands away, lift your chest. Exhale, hands to the ground. Palms find the floor, step back, plank pose. Inhale in your plank, exhale, lower to push up for five, four, three, two, one. Rise, lower five, four, three, two, one, rise, knees and forearms drop, look forward, inhale, pull yourself through, upward facing dog, exhale, wave back, downward facing dog, wonderful job, the work is the same, round two, left hand, up by left hip, 
Right leg up to the sky. Stretch it towards the ceiling. Right knee journeys up towards right tricep for five, four, three, two, one. Left heel drops down, right knee scoops to the sky. Right foot kicks over. Slowly lower your hips down to the ground. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold to the middle. Inhale, rise. Low boat pulse. Open. Arms and cactus, chest lifting. Legs long. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Spread your feet wide. Rise up. Feel the wobble of it. Try to kick your feet past your shoulders and try to take your shoulders to the inner line of your heels. Even if it's not possible, feel the wiggle of it. Then lower feet to the floor. Lift your chest and melt down. Inhale, rise up, right hand by right hip, left heel pushes down, try to lift your right foot off the ground directly, right knee, right tricep, left hand to floor, three-legged dog becomes side plank on your left hand, right arm reaches up, right knee pulls into chest, biggest possible step, step right foot journeys to the top of the mat, you find double bent leg lunge, reach through your fingers, on your exhale drive to straighten through your left leg, hands to heart center, pull yourself forward, crouching warrior, even with this really long stance, feel the drag, notice that turns on your hamstring, exhale straighten through your right leg, Bend your right knee, left foot lands gently at the back of the mat. Thumbs to the base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach away, open up space, territory. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Inhale in your plank, exhale, lower towards the ground for five, four. Knees can always be down. Three, two, one, rise. Lower five, four, three, two, one, rise, knees drop, forearms drop, look forward. Inhale, pull through, upward, facing dog. Exhale, wave back, downward, facing dog. Inhale, your right hand up by your right hip. Then your left leg chases the sky. Hopefully this is getting more comfortable. If not, just a touch easier, maybe 5%. Left knee hunts, left tricep for five, four, three, two, one. Right heel drops down, left knee twists across to the right side, and then you straighten your left leg, kicking the foot over. Slowly lower your hips towards your left wrist. Butt finds the floor, chest lifts, and then you fold to the middle, digging your heels into the ground. Inhale, rise up, low boat pose, open. Cactus the arms, T the arms, C curve the chest up just a little bit more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open your feet wide, lift up, try to kick your feet over and behind your head. Really round, find, try to find a balance point or a wiggle point where it's tough. And then lower your heels to the floor, lift up, fold down. Inhale, rise. Left hand by left hip, push right foot down, lift your left foot like an elevator immediately up to the sky. Left knee finds left tricep, right hand finds the floor. You find three-legged dog, which becomes side plank on. Your right hand curve open, wonderful. Lift your left knee into your chest. Slowly step your left foot all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale, rise. Double bent leg lunge, reach through your fingers. Heavy hips, exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, hands to heart center. Try to not push off your right toes, pull forward. Create the range as you lift up through your right leg. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Bend your left knee. Let your right foot land gracefully at the back of the mat. Bring thumbs to the base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach your hands away. Open your heart. Exhale, hands to the floor, palms plant, step back to plank pose. Inhale here, exhale, lower for five, four, three, two, one, hold five, four, three, 
two, one, rise. Lower five, four, three, two, one, hold five, four, three, two, one, rise. Knees and forearms drop. Look forward, inhale, pull yourself through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. Push the palms down flat. Feel strong within your hands. Look forward, lift heels, bend knees. Bottom of exhale, step or float feet to the outsides of your fingers. Sit your hips low, active squat. Cross your arms in front of your chest. Push your hips back in space as you hinge your upper body forward. Feel your legs working, turning on here. Noticing the capabilities of your core isn't just your abs, isn't just your arms, your shoulders, your legs are very involved in this equation. So lean forward enough so this feels more intense in your legs. Think about your tailbone going back, but your collarbones, your chest reaching out. Really try to hold here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, keep your hips this low, lift your chest up, and then try to push your hips forward, opening your knees wider, and see if you can sit just a little bit lower there. Different pelvic position opens up space, also makes it really tough, so try to sit with it for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, sit your hips back down, track your knees wider, hinge forward, hips go back, lift chest up, hips go forward, hinge forward, hips go back, lift chest up, hips go forward, working through this for five, four, try to go lower every time, even if it's not aesthetic, it's in your mind, you feel it, three, two, one, hands to floor, elbows bend your vinyasa. Hopefully those next legs, excuse me, feel really connected there as you make your way back through. Push into the palms. Really try to lift your hips up and back in space. Think about the space in between your thumbs, the landing spot. Lift heels, bend knees, your journey, feet to thumbs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Fingers chase the ceiling, push your hips forward. Exhale, hands through heart center, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to floor. Move back to your push-up and hold it for seven, six, five. Low push-up, four, three, two, one, rise to plank. Move to low push up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, rise. Low, move to low push up. Hold three, two, one, rise. Move through a push up. Lower lift. Knees drop, forearms drop. Inhale, pull through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, wave back, downward facing dog. Push into the palms, look forward, lift heels. Bend knees, step or float to your back. <laughs> Last bit of core work here. Bicycle, hands behind the head, left elbow to right knee, touch, touch. Just find your rhythm, switching, 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 switching. Really feel the pull, the drive, the activity, the strength the connection, and then speed up. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up for the next 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, keep going, but just, you know, moderate it. Just a consistent pace. Okay, this next one, we're going to go faster. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slower. Just have the consistency. Pedal it out. Fast, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slow, slow. All right, last sprint. You've got this. You've got to stick with it. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. Lower down. Set your feet onto the floor as you would for bridge pose. Push heels and triceps down. 
elevate your hips to the sky. Tips of fingertips, touch backs of Achilles tendons. You're lifted, you're long, you're elevated. You're breathing. Just hold here. Whether you're doing this supported or doing it active, wonderful space to hold after all the things we've done. Try to find five more breaths. Let it go. Open your arms up like a T. Bring your knees in towards your chest and then just drop the knees a little left and then center and a little right. So you're finding a nice, easy rhythm to waving from space to space. When you feel balanced there, reach your legs up to the sky. Soft plow pose, a bit more like death bands pose where your knees are by your ears. It's gonna drop in. Option of course, straighten the legs if you choose. And then release. Find Shavasana. Maybe you come to Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees playing wide open, your arms just dropping where they may. Give yourself the chance to rest and recover from this practice. Short, sweet, to the point, helping you build strength, stability, coordination, connection and awareness in your physical self, giving you the opportunity and the capacity to persevere. As always, y'all, it truly is such a pleasure to share space with you here on YouTube. Feel free to linger in this moment for as long as you need to. I look forward to practicing with you again very soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.